report in today's news. Today's top stories. Lady Gaga plummets off stage in a fan's arm during a Vegas show. Online petition to get Piers Morgan sacked from Great Morning Britain over its LGBT comment backfires. Tea with the Royals. A dramatic late try booked well a World Cup semi-final spot. Gordon Ramsay reveals his daughter Tilly is dating Gino DiCampo's son Luciano. Lady Gaga fell head over heels off into the audience during the latest day of the Las Vegas residency. The star had invited a fan called Jack to join her on stage and jumped into his arms, but he lost his footing and the pair plummeted to the floor. We legitimately thought she was dead, wrote one audience member on Reddit. Instead, Gaga returned to play million reasons with Jack at her side. It's amazing, she said. We love each other so much, we fell off the damn stage. An online petition to get Piers Morgan off Good Morning Britain has backfired as one campaigning for him to stay has more than doubled the amount of signatures. The Change.org petition titled Remove Piers Morgan from Good Morning Britain was created after viewers were outraged by his recent on-air run regarding gender identity. During the live debate on the show last month about non-binary gender, the outspoken TV anchor said he identified as a two-spirit penguin. The petition reached more than 29,000 signatures with peers jokingly posting on Twitter, you can't remove me, I I'm currently identifying as a penguin, so it would be animal, animal cruelty. Kate Middleton and Prince William have just returned from their five-day Pakistan tour, which was branded the most complex ever, due to security reasons. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are said to have ripped up the Royal War Book and made an unscheduled <coughs> meeting with a local family they met on a roadside. Kate is, Kate is said to have been so moved by this story that she that she took some beautiful photos which captured their strength. The villagers were spotted when the couple were travelling back from the mountains. Kate is said to have asked her security team to stop the car so William and her, and her could speak to the locals. They were invited into their one room home for tea with the use of a translator. Kate learned that they lived without running water and an electrics and an electric and electricity and were confined to their home for half a year due to snow. A dramatic late tribal Wales, a World Cup semi final play place as Warren Gatland's side came from behind to win twenty nineteen in Oita. France Luc Sebastian Vaham Vahamina was sent off after 48 minutes for a blatant bl elbow on Wales. Aaron Wainwright in a decisive moment. France were leading 19-10 at the time and Wales scored 10 and answered points. Gatland side play South Africa next Sunday in Yokohama. Gordon Ramsay says his daughter has found romance with the son of fellow chef Gino Diacampo. The F word star and dad of five revealed that Tilly has grown close to Gino's son, Luciano, after the dad's bonded filming new TV show Men Behaving Badly. Luciano is the eldest son of Gino, well, Gino while Tilly has followed in her father's footsteps and with, her, and with her own cooking segments on TV and the release of a cookbook. The famously foul-mouthed chef was asked if they were dating on the Jonathan Ross show and admitted the situation had become a nightmare. Jonathan chiefly quizzed 
it's it is this an arranged marriage we are looking at Gordon continued, we are driving through San Francisco and FaceTime in Luciano and all of a sudden Tilly pops up behind them and they are out having lunch. I think they are friends, he added, to which Don suggested. I am sure they are more than friends. Then they joked about Gino soon being Tilly's father-in-law. Following the big reveal on his TV show, Jonathan took to his Twitter page to gleefully announce a new uniting of the two dynasties. And that was the latest news for Monday the 21st of October 2019. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Avacons News for the latest news and updates.